So I remember being like 10, uh, okay. a 10-year-old a girl and wearing a, a thick tank top, like a tank top with thick straps. Oh. And I guess the, the size of the strap of the tank top is what determined whether or not it was against the dress code. It had to be a certain size because you were allowed to wear like the thicker strap ones because the boys could wear muscle tops. Oh. That's why. But if you were a girl, uh, the tank tops that are made are usually like the skinnier, slightly skinnier strap tank tops, spaghetti strap tops. That's just what they were called. Um, sure. Anyways, I was like a 10. I did not have boobs or it was not developed just, just to, so you understand. For the same reference, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was wearing a tank top that had somewhere in the middle of like spaghetti stop and uh, spaghetti top <laughs> strap and, <laughs> and the the thicker ones. So it was like an inch. And I got called out of the hallway by the principal, the principal of the entire school. So not just my teacher. And she said that what I was wearing was inappropriate and I would have to put on a sweater or my parents would be called. And I remember just crying in the hallway because I, I was shamed by being called out of the class in front of everyone there's 30 students who turn their heads and say oh why, why are they calling christine yeah, why is she in trouble she's in trouble for showing her shoulders yeah i guess <laughs> the the thickness of the strap was just slightly under what was allowed because the boys could wear muscle knobs um it wasn't low cut either it was like a high cut <laughs> tank top from my, i remember exactly what it looks like it was baby blue yeah I mean, um I feel like these kinds of things don't happen as much today in the same cities or places that they used to happen. I'm not saying it doesn't happen in certain like more conservative areas. I understand it probably that. happens more than and we realize. In private schools, yeah. sure, like I I I know that, but uh, in the same location and area where this happened to me, I I highly doubt that would happen today. Yeah, and that's clearly like a jet. Like, is yeah. a if a boy had like. A muscle shirt on and the straps were an inch is he getting pulled into the principal's no, office no that's the thing it's not gonna happen yeah. right i just felt extremely embarrassed and like targeted by that and kids talked about it that oh she got pulled away by the principal she's in trouble did you get so sent crying. home or? no because i had a cardigan in my bag so i, I just put it on because i didn't want any more like trouble or attention i didn't want my parents called like it was a threat she said we're gonna call your parents unless you cover up so i don't want my parents called <laughs> But I just remember. Sorry, I'm laughing. Yeah, this is. It's no, yeah. like, it, yeah, I understand. It's just crazy to think back because what was I going to do? I'm like a helpless child. So I just followed instructions and felt like I'd violated the world. But I don't even think anyone complained. Like, I don't think I was told on. I just think the principal does her rounds, looks for people to call out. And that's what it felt like to me anyways. Yeah, like, I guess there has to be like some sort of standard so people aren't like incredibly inappropriate naked. Yet, like <laughs> naked at school but also that must be like one of the worst parts about being a teacher too right to have to do you think yeah. your average teacher wants to have to like police how much how mm. short someone's skirt is or some bullshit like that that sounds like terrible to me yeah it's definitely not an easy job i just felt like it was not necessary to call me out and it probably caused more harm than good um calling yeah. me out like that and making everyone whisper and you know yeah no that sucks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anyways all right could you want to <laughs> <laughs> flip the script 